In this video, we're going to look at the Pelican Arcade Stick. Now, this was released sometime in the early 2000s and is designed for PlayStation 1 and 2, your original Xbox, and your GameCube. Otherwise, it's a pretty straightforward arcade controller. It's got your buttons for all the controls on the console, your shoulder buttons and your face buttons. Marked out for PlayStation, Xbox, and GameCube, so good job there. Uh, your normal 8-way directional stick, which you can kind of hear it going around. It doesn't feel the best, but it works alright. And the main controls with uh, toggleable turbo, programmable uh, functions, the standard select and start, and a mode button, which don't quite remember what the mode did. I think it might have been for the PlayStation 2, not 100% programmable function on this thing is a little funky it's like you hold down the button tap in the tap the button you want to program then tap the combination to it it's really awkward I've got the manual hanging around somewhere but I don't like programmable controllers but let's just say the way you could program this thing you could swap buttons or program in a motion like a Hadouken or something for it turbo was a similar thing you would basically select what button would go turbo and it was it just doesn't function quite the way I'd want it to. It's alright, but not the way I'd like it to be. Otherwise, there's your product information, PL950, Universal Pelican Arcade Stick, made in China, da da da, with a, I guess a serial number, I'm not sure. Friend had this in storage and decided to give it to me because, well, why not? I collect this old junk. And it's not really that bad of a stick. But it isn't that great either. It does have these little nice cushiony rests for your hands, so when you're playing, it's not too bad. But uh, we're going to unplug this thing into the Xbox and give it a try. So for demonstration, we're going to play Dead or Alive 3, and I'm just going to pick a random sparring mode fight just to sort of show how the controller wants to behave. Like I said, it isn't too bad, but it isn't the best controller. Buttons are responsive. The stick is alright. And it functions, but again, it isn't exactly the best thing. And not that I'm the best at fighting games, I'm really just sort of looking at the camera, looking back at the screen and pressing buttons here, but sort of trying to show it responds alright. Very straightforward controller. I mean, what more do you want, really? I mean, I've never seen one of these in the wild, so it isn't like I'd imagine it's that common, but still. So I'd say if you have an opportunity to pick one up for cheap, it might be worth giving it a shot. You might have some fun with it. Works really well for a lot of the classic uh, space shooters as well, but considering it's only for the Xbox, the GameCube, and the PlayStation, uh, you're not going to be able to play all those awesome Dreamcast shooters on it. Then again, with Xbox modding, there's a lot of options you have available and what you can play on it. So, you know, maybe some old arcade titles might be really fun with it. Just depends on what you play and how you play your games. Thanks for watching. Catch everyone next time.